Hi children, welcome to A plus learning. Here we are with our next chapter, Units and Measurements. And here we go. Let's start with the chapter. Today, we will learn all the rules related to significant figures, how to state the number of significant figures, and also the rules of arithmetic operations with significant figures. Dear children, do you know that these significant figures are the digits that matter in a number or observation? We have certain rules for these. The rules are as follows. In the first rule we have all non-zero digits are significant. Let's see an example that is 16.47. Here all these digits are non-zero. So the significant figure comes out to be 4. Rule 2 we have all zeros between two non-zero digits are significant. Let's see a number 100.08 as the zeros between these non-zero numbers are to be counted. Here we have 1 and 8 as the non-zero number and all the zeros between these two non-zero digits are to be counted. We have the significant figure as 5. The next rule we have, in a number without a decimal point, the ending zeros are not significant. Here, let us seek a number that is 3400. This is a number without the decimal point. So, the zeros at the end are to be discarded. So, the significant figure over here is Next rule is, if a number is less than 1, the zeros on the right of the decimal point to the left of the first non-zero digit are not significant. Let's seek a number that is 0.006809. Here we have three zeros to the left of the first non-zero number and the first non-zero number is 6, right? And we have three zeros over here to the left of 6. So, these zeros are not to be counted while writing the significant figure. And so, here we get the significant figure as 4. Next rule we have, in a number with decimal point, the ending zeros are not significant. We have the example as 6.800. Here, the zeros after the decimal point are significant. So that has to be counted. So here we have the significant figure as 4. Next rule we have change of units does not change the number of significant figures in a measurement. Here we will take three numbers that is 12.5, 0 0.125 and 0 0.000125. Here for all the three examples we have 3 as the significant figure. For the first number, 12.5, it is all non-zero numbers. So, all the three numbers are to be counted. For the second and the third, that is 0 0.125 and 0 0.000125, here the numbers are less than zero. So, the zeros to the left of the first non-zero numbers are not to be counted. So, here, Two, we have 3 as a significant figure. Rule 7. In exponential notation, the number portion gives a number of significant figures. Let's take an example of 1.35 multiplied by 10 raised to 4. Here the significant figure is 3. Here we don't have to see the exponential part. Only the number part is to be C. So here we have three numbers, that is three digits and the significant figure is three. Now let's see rounding of certain digits. Rule one, the preceding digit is raised by one if the digit to be dropped is more than five. 
Let's see an example, 8.536. Here, the third digit, we have it as 6. So, as it is more than 5, the preceding digit, that is the number 3 over here, this has to be increased by 1 or raised by 1. So, the number when rounded, it becomes 8.5. 3 will change to 4. 3 plus 1 is 4. So, we have when rounded, it comes out to be 8.54. Rule 2 is the preceding digit is not changed if the digit to be dropped is less than 5. Here we have an example 4.251. Here the digit to be dropped is 1. This third digit, that is, a, that is 1. And it is less than 5. So the number when rounded will be 4.25. That's it. Rule number 3. When the digit preceding the digit to be dropped as even and the digit to be dropped as 5, then there is no change for the preceding digit. If we have taken the example of 6.625 here, 5 is to be dropped as the digit preceding it is 2. So 5 is the one which we have to drop and 2 is the number which is even, the preceding digit is an even number. So when rounded, the number becomes 6.62. The 5 is to be dropped and the 2, there is no change for 2 over here and the number when rounded becomes 6.62. The next rule we have, when the digit preceding the digit to be dropped is odd and the digit to be dropped is 5, then 1 is added to the preceding digit. Here we have a very different example that is 8.535. As the digit preceding the digit to be dropped is 3, which is an odd number here. Here we have to drop the number 5 but have to add 1 with 3 as it is an odd number. So, when rounded, the number becomes 8.54. Next is the rules of arithmetic operations with significant figures. In multiplication or division, the final result should retain as many significant figures as are there in the original number with the least significant figures. Let's multiply two numbers and see 3.8 multiplied by 0 0.125 is equal to 0 0.475. And here when rounded, we get 0 0.48 and the significant figure is 2. Now let's see the question. Here in the question, we have 3.8 as the first number and 0 0.125 as the second number. Here in the first number, we have 2 as the significant figure. And here, this is the least significant figure what we have. Here, 0 0.125, we have three significant figure. So, that is not to be taken while writing the answer. So, here, we round the number such that 0 0.48, we get the significant figure as 2, which is the same as the least significant figure in the question. In addition or subtraction, the final result should retain as many decimal places as are there in the number with the least decimal places. Now here we have 16.25 kg plus 24.8 kg plus 9.445 kg. The yeah, answer comes out to be 50.495. And when rounded, we get 50.5. But we have to be very careful that the decimal place in the answer and the decimal place in the question with the number that is having the least decimal place should be the same. Here the significant figure is 3. Please subscribe my channel for more videos and press the bell icon to receive notifications.